SPL match against Motherwell marks the end of an era for St Mirren. After 115 years, it will be their final league game at Love Street before the club moves to a new stadium. Our reporter Joanne Bonner has been speaking to St Mirren legends about their memories. <laughs> Mirren captain Davy Lapsley brings the Scottish Cup to Paisley. As the club looks forward to a new beginning, past and present players are looking back. Tony Connell was part of the second division championship winning side in 1968 as St Mirren clinched their first league title. Great camaraderie because we were winning the uh, first season and then we won the league and we got promotion and we're third in the league in January in the first division. So it was great then. The 1970s and 80s were some of the most prolific times at Love Street, from Alex Ferguson's managerial reign to winning the Scottish Cup in 1987 and European glory. St. Mirren were flying high. Let's back to yeah, we were pretty much in it uh, season after season uh, for, for a wee spell. Um, and some big clubs were coming to play here, Spine Rocks and SEN. Uh, Mechelen, who went on to win the, the cup winner stuff after uh, playing us. So, um, some big clubs and great nights. Uh, at this place, uh, when there was 12 to 15,000 people here supporting St. Mirren. Josh Best came and played in Hibs, Love Street, and, and we, we played Fiernard in the cup, and it was Rijkaard, Hullet, and Cruyff. We really had a good season, and maybe we uh, of course, Alex Ferguson, uh, manager as well, was tremendous. And it had such a belief, not just even the team, the whole of Paisley, also the old firm, of course, you know, some of their sort of great victories against them here. Yeah, they're, they're great memories. And also the local ride in Boston. I've got to get that one in. In more recent times, the supporters were euphoric in 2000 as the club secured promotion to the Premier League. Getting that trophy in front of our, our home fans, um, and they can tip to get relegated. I think that's what will probably stick in my mind. Um, I think it came the best part of it. I don't know, maybe eight or nine years for some money to get back to the Premier League from the last time we were there. Um, and a great satisfaction you run out there and all the fans were singing their hearts out. Tomorrow's final game is certain to be an emotional occasion as the fans pack the stadium for the final time. After 115 years of success and failure, Highs and lows, it's the last chance for the buddies to say goodbye. I think uh, a few tears, cool. a few tears in shed. It's the whole memory of being here. It's a big, big part of my, my life. Uh, I was a player here for 18 years. Um, it's a huge part of my life, um, something I'll never forget. And I'm very, very proud to have been part of the club's history. It's been like a second poem. Um, so, for me personally, um, it'll be quite sad to see this go. I've came here for the best part of 14, 14 years. Listen, you are know, really crying the news, never mind the last game. I'm going to be here and I'll be here for my thing. All the things you had here. And that's what you can bring with you. Okay, the, the brick was so low and things like that, but you've still got that love in your heart and your mind. Now here's the weather.